This video will teach you everything you need to know about minerals. Uh, first off, what are minerals? Uh, minerals are nutrients that occur naturally in rocks and soil. Um, since rocks and soil taste bad and aren't really edible, they must come from our food, which grows in the soil. Uh, these are responsible for helping to control many of your bodily functions, which we'll talk about uh, later in this video. And Minerals are all known as micronutrients, which means that they do not provide energy for the body in the form of calories. Uh, there are two types of minerals. Uh, the first one is called a macro mineral, and macro minerals are needed in large amounts by the body. Uh, when you look at the different uh, labels of food, if you see something that's in micro or a macro mineral, it'll be labeled in grams. Uh, things that are considered to be macro minerals are uh, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, chlorine, and sulfur. Uh, the other type of things that you'll find are the trace minerals. Uh, sometimes they're also called micro minerals, and those are known as uh, things, again, that you need very small amounts of. And those are iron, fluorine, iodine, copper, and zinc. All right, so we'll start out by talking about what calcium is. Uh, calcium is something that's really, really important for the maintenance of your bones and teeth. Uh, it helps your bones and teeth stay very strong and uh, obviously can help prevent things like uh, bones breaking. Uh, it's also important for blood clotting and for functions of the nervous system. Uh, a lot of food sources of calcium are things that are dairy products. Uh, you can see there's a glass of milk, uh, cheeses, yogurts, things like that are very high in calcium. Uh, tofu is actually pretty high in calcium as well, along with uh, broccoli and various legumes. And again, legumes are dried beans and peas. Uh, osteoporosis is a condition uh, that people usually get if they're deficient in calcium or again have a lack of calcium. And basically that is uh, caused by the bones gradually weakening. So this is something that can really be prevented if you uh, drink enough milk uh, or eat enough dairy products each day. Uh, another mineral that we're going to talk about is iron. Uh, iron is really important for helping uh, the body have oxygen that it needs in the red blood cells. Uh, basically, it's responsible for helping carry that oxygen. And we all know that all of your tissues and cells of your body need oxygen in order to function properly. Uh, without that, people can feel uh, very, 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 very tired. And if you noticed, I uh, stuck a little picture of this lady who was passed out by her computer. Uh, basically, people with anemia, which is a condition in which people don't have enough iron, uh, they can start to feel like they are too exhausted to do uh, normal daily tasks, things like working or doing schoolwork, studying, or uh, even simply walking around can become uh, way too exhausting for them to be able to handle. Uh, some good food sources of iron are any meats, but most specifically red meats, which are in the picture below. Uh, spinach is also a really good source of iron, along with legumes, which again are dried beans and peas. Uh, next, another mineral is zinc. Uh, zinc is important for a lot of uh, different functions of the body and for uh, the pro body processes to work normally, but it's most important for protecting the immune system. Uh, and all of you guys should know that having a healthy immune system is going to keep you from getting sick. Uh, things with lots of zinc would be any type of meats, like poultry, pork, or red meats. Uh, fish is a great source of zinc, along with whole wheat bread or whole grains, and milk. Uh, next is sodium. Uh, sodium is important for the water balance of your body. Uh, 
It's also important for nerve function and helps you maintain a normal blood pressure. Uh, sometimes if you like if you're in a sport that's in the summertime or if you work out a lot in the summertime you might notice that uh, you can actually have salt that comes out of your pores and maybe dries up on your skin. Uh, that would be a situation where it's really important to replenish your water balance in your body and uh, things like Gatorade can really help you do that quickly. Uh, you can obviously also get sodium from table salt, uh, soy sauce is very salty, along with any processed foods. Uh, most processed foods that sit on the shelf for a long time are very high in sodium. Uh, finally, we're going to talk about potassium. Uh, potassium also helps with water balance. Uh, sodium and potassium kind of work together for that. Uh, it's also important for the functioning of your heart and nervous system. And one of the things that could be an indicator that uh, you're lacking potassium uh, is if you ever wake up in the middle of the night with a killer calf cramp, uh, I bet you some of you can relate to that. Uh, that is a really good uh, sign that possibly you didn't have enough potassium and your water balance is kind of out of whack. So if that happens to you, some things that you could eat uh, would be baked potatoes, spinach, uh, bananas are probably the best source of potassium, uh, oranges and other citrus fruits, tomatoes or anything with tomatoes in them, and also again Gatorade uh, helps with that water balance. So all of those would be foods that are important for uh, you to get the potassium that you need. And that's all you need to know about minerals. Please follow the directions at your table for what you should do next.